Buffalo Besties presents Sumo Puppy by David Bizriki. To Benjamin Jace and Calvin James. It is said that a bumblebee's body is too big and its wings are too small for it to fly. But the bumblebee doesn't know that, so it flies anyway. Kuma is a Yokozuna of Arheya. Some said his body was too big for him to be a champion. But he didn't know that. Now he is the best of the best. I am his friend, Sumo Kitty. Kuma is older and wiser now. He no longer wishes to battle in the dojo. Instead, he teaches others the wisdom he has learned. I have grown older too. I wish to catnap more and chase mice less. I want to pass on my wisdom, but there are no kitties nearby to teach. They all live on the other side of the river. Everything changed the day Okamisan brought home. A puppy! The Rikishi named her Chenko-chan. It didn't bother me that everyone wanted to play with her. It bothered me that she wanted to play with me. Only me. She followed me everywhere. Everywhere. I couldn't get away. Woof, woof. During the day, she blocked the sun where I slept. Woof. At night, she drooled and snored. Woof. Disgusting. I couldn't do my job with Chinko-chan around. It was frustrating. Woof. Woof. But if Kuma could teach others the ways of the Rikishi, maybe I could teach Chanko-chan the ways of the kitty. She seemed eager to learn. Oof. I told her mice do not belong in the Heya. They scare the wrestlers, eat their food, cause fires, and poop all over. To catch a mouse, you must first learn to act like a kitty. Kitties do not fetch. They are happy to see no one. They do not eat everything and they do not bring home underwear. Woof. To hunt like a kitty, be alert. Spot your prey. Slowly climb into position. Get ready to pounce. Do not pass gas. Chango Chan just didn't seem to get it. The only thing she was good at was barking. Woof woof. She barked at everything, woof, woof. even herself. Woof. One night, it got so annoying, the Rikishi put her outside. I went out and sat with her. I told her I had a hard time in the beginning too. The mice laughed at me. I lost my job, but I didn't give up. I had to find my place. Chanko-chan didn't want to give up either. The next night, she quietly stood guard over the Heya when she heard something scamper across the floor. She went after it with all her might. Woof, woof. Woof. Even though she captured the mouse, no one was pleased. Okamisan decided the Heya was no place for a puppy.
I thought it was the last I'd see of Chanko Chun. But she had other plans. It is said that dogs have a way of finding the people who need them. Early one morning, Chango Chan returned to find us in danger. Woo! Woo! She came to our rescue. Woo! Woo! Wolf? And that is how Chenko Chan became Sumo Puppy. Some say a dog's body is too big and it has no wings to fly. Chenko Chan doesn't know that. She flies anyway. Please share and subscribe, and remember, every day is a good day to cozy up with a good book. See you next time!